Welcome to Papillion Unscripted. I'm Michael Severe. It's the place to go to hear from people who truly help make Papillion feel like home. Joining us this week is the president of Papillion Area Historical Society, Julie Kassoon, joining us here. We appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for inviting me. So how did the Historical Society get started? Well, way back when we had some volunteers, actually members of the community that lived over by uh, the Papillion La Vista High School. Mm -hmm. And her nam name was Nancy Ryan. And she saw that there were builders that were gonna build homes there and it, close to her. Well, that's where the Sauter farmhouse stood, mm -hmm. the large house and the smaller house. She saw the large house getting burned. Oh. They took it, well, you know, with industry, they sure. burn a lot of the houses. So the small house was still there and she wanted to save it. She uh, loves history. Mm -hmm. She was a volunteer uh, for many years with different, she was a military wife. So, and a lot of our volunteers are military wives. Mm -hmm. So she pr approached the builders and asked them if they could, she could have the house. And he, they said, yep, it's yours for a dollar. Wow. And so she gathered other people in the community, volunteers, and they were able to move it. Uh, they went to the city to ask the city if we could have it in the park right across the street from the courthouse. Mm -hmm. And they agreed, uh, ga gave, the, uh, gave them the land to put the building on there because it was a very important historical significance for Papillion. Mm -hmm. uh, the Sodders were there since the 1870s. They had over 300 acres, uh, 400 acres mm. uh, when, they, um, when they were uh, at their height. And that's off Centennial? It's right off of Giles. You know where Papillion okay. Cemetery is? Yes. That was the Sodder Cemetery. Okay. Um, actually, my grandma used to tell me stories that her father worked for the Sodders, and mm -hmm. she would tell us how she would help her father herd cattle up 84th Street. Oh, wow. I thought she was crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now that I volunteer for the Historical Society, you I know find it's out true. it's true. Okay. So she was able to get all that together, get volunteers together, and that was the formation of the Historical Society. They mm -hmm. moved that house um, to the area right next to the library, mm -hmm. and eventually there was another house, the Portal Schoolhouse was moved later, but that kind of helped bring everyone together and they incorporated the Historical Society. Was it kind of a big deal? I mean, I've seen homes, homes move before. They put them on these big trucks and they take them down like at 84th Street. Was it kind of a big deal when they were moved? It was a big deal. They were able to find someone to move it, mm -hmm. um, but they didn't even know that it was, uh, they thought it was just made of wood, but in, in fact, there were bricks inside. Mm. The, Mr. Cafferty, the previous owner, was a bricklayer. And so th it was very heavy, but they stopped, had to stop traffic everywhere, yep. have the fire department involved. Mm -hmm. It was a big deal. Lots of people came out to watch it and it was wonderful. Yeah. So how'd you get involved with the society? Well, I've always been, uh, lived here forever. My family has been here since the 1870s. I've always volunteered at my church. Mm -hmm. And actually that's where I met Ann Sorella she was a volunteer at church and mm -hmm. she told me about the historical society so i have always been interested in history of course and history of papillion and i had some free time on my hands with my kids older so i decided to volunteer uh, and uh, eventually they put me into the leadership role right <laughs> and it's all about volunteers and donations right that's how this society works yes correct yeah. We reach out to members of the community to be members, to support us. Also, uh, w the city works with us uh, regarding grants. Um, it's all non, we're a nonprofit mm -hmm. and it, we're, we're str we have a lot of upkeep with the houses. Right now we're doing a lot of upkeep mm -hmm. with the Sauter House. And it's, the money comes in through donations and grants for the community and the community has been wonderful. The city has been wonderful letting us have the buildings on the ground, the city's ground. Mm -hmm. And we just uh, have a great community that uh, reaches out and gives uh, donations to us. Uh, downtown businesses the, mm -hmm. uh, have been awesome to help us. So. Yeah, and recently you guys took the, the big American flag, that historical flag, yes. and moved it from over the gift shop, framed it, put it up, how did that whole process work? 
Well, it's been hanging in the back of the schoolhouse for many years, mm -hmm. simply just stapled to the wall. And so we wanted to preserve it correctly. And so we had it taken down and went to Mangelson's and they mm -hmm. um, did the framing and um, they do wonderful ar ar archival service. And so it's now hanging in the back of the schoolhouse mm. properly. <laughs> <laughs> and they flipped it over too, right? They so, did, yeah. Because the other side was kind of faded. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yes. And we still are a little bit fuzzy on the whole background on that flag. Yeah. Uh, so we're still trying to work that all out. So, But it's beautiful. It's up and it's uh, going to be ready to be there for another 200 years. Obviously, historic, the history part of it is the big part of the society. You had a guy in, in Jim Miller who knew the history completely of Papillion. We lost him back in May. What was it like having him there to be able to constantly give you guys updates and, and explain the history mm -hmm. of Papillion in the area? Jim was an amazing person. Um, of course, his family uh, ran the Papillion Times for years and years, and but at, he came every Thursday night to the basement with us to look over documents and if we ever had a question about who was who, Jim would know. Mm -hmm. His mind was intact, I mean, perfect. He knew everything. So he was a great loss to us. Um, he was friends with my dad. They grew up together, so known and known them forever so yes you guys a little tribute to him uh, he always hung his starter jacket right there at the entrance of the school right so you got a yes. little spot for him still exactly you know he would come in and he have his jacket and his hat he always had his favorite hat on yeah. so that is just every time you we enter in you know we have that there for to remember him yeah uh, tell me what's coming up what do you guys got uh, whether it be with the school or with the uh, the solder house well, this month we have another uh, opportunity to have a naturalization ceremony, mm -hmm. and that'll be in next week. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on Constitution Day. There are usually about 25 to 30 new citizens that are naturalized, and we uh, have it the event on outside in front of the schoolhouse. So that's a really great yeah. thing that we can do for our community, and it's it's amazing. Uh, actually, we learned a little bit about the whole process that the, they go through mm -hmm. when they are, uh, become naturalized. They have flashcards, a hundred flashcards yeah. that they study and mm -hmm. <laughs> have to, and they have to get all those questions right when they're I quizzed. Know. I know, I know. So they ask a lot of questions. So it's it's a neat uh, way to, um, to give back to the community. Also, give back by having the Pioneer Days, uh, fourth graders all going through those buildings. How much yes. has that grown over the years, from where you guys started to where it is now? Well, originally it was just uh, schools in the Papillion area, but mm -hmm. it's grown to uh, other schools in the area, in, uh, in Springfield, in La Vista, mm -hmm. um, and we are welcoming all kinds of students from the area, and also homeschool, uh, homeschoolers mm -hmm. were welcomed also. And it's a great way to share the history of Papillion to the fourth graders as they go through their history uh, session and we, they get to come to both all both of the houses at the Historical Society, and also mm -hmm. here at the upstairs and at the jail. That's yeah. one of the favorite things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the funny. Courtroom. We had a groundbreaking, like groundbreaking. We had a ribbon cutting here mm -hmm. for the hundred years, and a lot of parents came through, and they. That's the one thing they remember from when they were fourth graders, going up to the jail. They were excited to go up to the jail. It's kind of become a generational thing, hasn't mm -hmm. it? It has, mm -hmm. and we. We get uh, some kids who come back and they come through the school again and tour it mm -hmm. um, and want to visit and, and, and actually some who bring their children again through. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What about uh, just average Joe or Jane that want to go and, and visit and want to do the tour? How do they uh, set that up? Well, we have a website we, where we have our phone number. You can give us a call and we can arrange for a private tour for mm -hmm. them. And, or else sometimes we'll have open houses or when we have our different uh, activities throughout the year. Mm -hmm. It's a chance for people to donate too, right? Oh yeah, that. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. We would love to have everybody be members of the Historical Society. Yeah. And to be a member, all you have to do is give a small donation and then we send out an email. Um, you don't have to do anything, but if you like to volunteer, mm -hmm. uh, we always welcome volunteers. Mayor Black has said a couple times at events that you guys are involved at, 
it's things like the Historical Society that keep Papillion special. They're not just a suburb of Omaha. What do you think about that being something that keeps Papillion special, having keeping the history of it? It is, it's great. We love the small town atmosphere in Papillion um, and the closeness. Um, it's gotten to be so large, the whole area, but yeah. it, we can real, it's really nice that we can keep the small town atmosphere where everybody uh, enjoys the downtown with Papillion Days and all the different activities that we have with Winter Wonderland. Mm -hmm. It's just a great place to live. And I mean, we've uh, I've lived here forever and I don't think I would <laughs> ever move. Uh, yeah. Sarpy County native, born and raised? Born and raised, yes. Family has been here for many, many years from the 1870s. Uh, actually, um, I grew up on the farm south of town. My father attended a one-room schoolhouse, mm -hmm. the Bell School. And so there's that whole, um, uh, it, it's funny because he tells me stories about Papillion. He, they were also founding members of uh, uh, the churches here in town. Mm -hmm. So, and I grew up coming here all the time, going to the movies. Yeah, it was the big city, right? <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> yeah. the big city, right, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Going to the movies at the movie theater, you yeah, know. Yeah. Also, your son played for Nebraska. Yes. Uh, legendary interception, 2016 spring game, intercepted yeah. Patrick O'Brien. When I saw your name, I thought to myself, <laughs> I know that last name from somewhere. Yeah. What was that experience like for your family? It was great. It was a wonderful day. Uh, Kyle uh, attended Papillion, uh, Papillion South and played a lot of sports there and mm. then went on to go to college in Lincoln and then he uh, just decided that he was going to try to be a walk-on. Mm -hmm. So he tried out and he was uh, one of the, he made it. That was awesome. Yeah, so mm. he was uh, there practicing for just a few weeks and then the spring, it was time for the spring game and suit, everyone suited up and he got his one chance yeah. <laughs> towards the end of the game. He, they put him in for a couple plays and he just happened to be in the right place at the right time and was able to catch the, the football and win it for the, his team. The white team, I believe, yeah. won it, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at the very end, they lifted him up. It was just a fun thing, you know, for the kids yeah. to What yeah. an amazing memory. It was, yeah. yes, a wonderful memory. In fact, then he got to give a little speech afterwards and the, but <laughs> the guys were like, who is that? Who is this guy? <laughs> Where'd the guy come from? That's yeah. awesome. That is pretty but, cool. Yeah, it was, it was a fun day. Yeah. Again, if people want to be involved, either join the society or to donate, what should they do? If they would like to get involved, all they have to do is contact us um, and our numbers uh, everywhere. It's actually my personal number. It's, I won't give it out today. Yeah, that's fine. You can go to the website. <laughs> go though, to right? the website. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you can volunteer to help us with different activities. We're always looking for volunteers. Actually, right now, we're doing a lot of upkeep on the buildings. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been having some a lot of uh, upkeep on the solder house, actually. So They just it, did a painting, right? I mean, they went through and scraped off a bunch of the stuff and repainted mm -hmm. it. Well, this, yes. They... Mm -hmm. This local painter helped us out with mm -hmm. painting the schoolhouse and getting ready for the naturalization ceremony. And then at the solder house, we are um, working on the insulation in the basement. Oh, cool. Okay. And um, and some of the we have some problems with <laughs> termites. Oh, it was a really old house. Yes. Yeah, I get that. So we're working mm -hmm. to try to make sure everything is just taken care of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, so again, go to the website if you want to help out, if you want to be a member of the society. Yeah, and give us a call. Cool. We would love to have participation from those people in Papillion who love history and yep. who, who have a little bit of time to give to us. Cool. Julie, thank you. Thank Good you. talking to you. Thank you very much. Join us again next time when we begin to speak to someone who helps make Papillion feel like home.